Now, this is no hate to this person. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. But I haven't gone anywhere. And I haven't quit drag. A lot of people would say that I never really started it. Um, I was the first of my kind to be called lazy because my style of drag wasn't really understood. I saw Adore Delano as a Sasha Fierce or a Lady Gaga. Um, I became Adore. She became me. I was actually breaking TVs in hotels and drinking a bottle of Jack every other night. I'm now a year and a half sober almost, but um, I perform everywhere. I finished my world tour last year. I performed all around the country in the pride circuit of last summer. I had a Canadian tour last summer. I had a mini US tour during last year's Halloween season. I was supposed to finish last year in Australia, but I had to reschedule those gigs because I would come home just a few days before my surgery date and I needed to prioritize my health and make sure I had all the paperwork ready for all of that. But no, I haven't quit drag. I never really fit in in the drag community. We all kind of know that. And that's not like a woe is me type of energy. I'm very grateful for drag race. Like without drag race, I wouldn't have the life that I have right now and the people that I've connected with around the world. So, um, no. And I don't think this is going to be the last time I'm going to hear questions like this. I've seen it on Instagram. I've seen it on here. I see it in my DMs. And I also think it's kind of scary for the public to see me publicly live my life authentically and, and blossom and change in front of the camera and, and allowing you guys behind the curtain to see how I'm dealing with life sober and and embracing my divine feminine and making sure that I'm okay every day. Um, it's new to you. It's, it's, it's a new persona to a lot of you. A lot of you guys do get confused. Um, I'm in heavy therapy once a week. I'm very happy. Um, I have a lot of struggles that I don't talk about um, publicly, but I take it day by day. And I just want you to know that like, I'm not going anywhere. I haven't gone anywhere. I'm always in a city near you. You can check my website, adoredelano.com. I'm going to be taking like a few more months off of performing, but I'm still very much so in it. I just had a meeting today about future gigs this year and I'm excited, but I have to make sure to like prioritize my health as well. Cause I had a trachea shave. I don't have full mobility in my chin still after my FFS. There's still a lot of swelling, even though a lot of you guys say you can't see it. I know what swelled and I know what healing needs to be done, um, in order for me to return 100%. But I appreciate your concern and I don't mean this in a hateful way. I'm trying to answer this very double Libra, but I haven't gone anywhere, bitch. I'm still one of the OGs. You can't get rid of me.